My name is Bart Bronneberg. I'm a professor in marketing here at the Tilburg School of Economics and Management. I teach in the Research Master in Business program. And this is a program that actually teaches students to do PhD level research. I think a unique aspect of this program is that first of all, it is very small. It sort of pairs our best researchers with a very small and targeted group of students. And during your two years of instruction, you actually learn how to do research that you can then apply in the three years of the PhD program that follows next. Compared with other universities, it's, it's a longer program, but that prepares one very well for the job market and you have a lot of opportunities to change your specialization. So after the research master, if you're not interested in your original field, you can alter it a bit and you, you also get a wide knowledge. So the two years of the research master start in year one with a set of courses that teach you both methods of doing research as well as the main paradigms and theories in your track of specialization. We have six tracks, which are accounting, finance, marketing, operations research, organization and strategy, and tax economics. Then in the second year, two things happen. One is that you start working on your master thesis, which counts towards graduation. And the other thing is that you have ample space to take a lot of electives that allow you to take, for instance, advanced topics courses in any subfield in which you are interested. The coursework is um, quite intensive and challenging, but I think um, it's a way for me to improve myself. And also, um, I think the class is very small, so I could have a good communication with um, professors. Students learn how to do research through instruction, but also through osmosis. They sort of get really close to professors, uh, cooperating, collaborating on research questions, and sort of learn the tricks of the trade, not only through instruction, but also by example. As a PhD in Tilburg, you have to have work hard on the research, of course, as it's a top program. But one big advantage of Tilburg compared with other European universities is that here you are an employee, which means you get, you have an office space, you get a salary, you fall under Dutch labor law, so you get a lot of benefits, Christmas presents, and so on. It's a very international program. It has a very cosmopolitan vibe with two thirds of students actually being foreign and coming from all corners of the globe. There are a lot of international students here, so I feel very welcome to study here. And also, I think our friendship is beyond the studies. Like after, in the weekends, we uh, sometimes we would hang out together. So I think it's really good for me. And also, um, I have a chance to communicate with uh, students in other majors. I think um, it is a way to like expand my knowledge and know what is happening in the world now. If you do research and business, you're going to need library and computing facilities. And we offer state-of-the-art facilities in that respect. If you are into experimental research, we have a consumer behavior lab and we have a virtual reality lab. We offer broad access to data. In addition to this, when you do research, you need a platform to actually practice presenting it. We have a number of brown bag seminars of specialized discussion groups that allow you to hone your skills as a teacher and presenter of research as well. Tilburg University has quite nice office spaces, so you share your office with one other PhD, which makes it quite nice because you can be matched with someone of equal interest in, the re in research. It also, the campus is nice and compact on one side, but also spread out, so there's a lot of nature around. There's a forest next to the university, which you can enjoy a walk in if you're stuck with your research. And in general, Tilburg is, an, is a calm place to live in. I chose to go to Tilburg because it's, in con especially in continental Europe, one of the best places for economics and business. So our students actually get placed very well. Um, most of our students take up careers in teaching and research at institutions of higher learning, among others the University of Chicago in the US, uh, Cambridge University in Europe, and the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology in Asia. Some of our students actually uh, go on to take careers in the private sector or at NGOs, IGOs like uh, the World Bank or the IMF. The two things I like best about doing research is on the one hand side you can challenge yourself every day. So you have a problem, you, have, you, you look into finding a solution, how you can approach it differently, how to look at reality differently because you, you gain a new insight. And of course it's, it's the, the benefit of contributing to society in a meaningful way. because. As every PhD, I hope that at one point my research will be used in reality in some way.